What's up, Turtle fans? I am the White Foot Soldier, and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael by Bulkies. Now, this is very exciting because this is the last of the four Bulky Turtles, which means that we are going to be able to put together the deluxe splinter figure that um, was limited to just 500. So basically, each one of these came with a part um, of splinter, and then you know it was build a splinter basically. So um, let's have a look at the box art, and then we'll um, look at the figure. Then we'll put splinter together at the end. So if we just have a look at the front of the box art here, we get the Bulky's collections uh, designed by Foon Wong. Uh, did a fantastic job. These are awesome looking figures. Um, of course, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Nickelodeon in the bottom corner there, uh, Big Bad Toys in the top. And if we just lean this forward, we can see that this comes with um, a part of Splinter. So the part that's highlighted is what comes with this particular one. And then, as I mentioned, we will um, get all the pieces together and we'll finally see what that figure looks like after the um, anticipation um, for that. So uh, seeing the box art too in the top here, TMNT Pizza, uh, the Raphael, um, basically Balky's, you know, just a drawing of the figure itself. Uh, we get some throwing stars, uh, the size, uh, Calbunga, um, Ooze. So I like how the Bulkies, um, you know, I like how they did this. I, I think that the box art's really neat with the window uh, box and then, you know, the circular opening on the top there. We turn this over on the side. I mentioned in the uh, last review of Leonardo that the M here, so that actually stands for, you know, the TMNT. So what will happen is each figure has a, um, a different letter. So T, M, N, T in this particular one as the M. So that's uh, just a neat idea, you know, just something they were thinking ahead of the time in case people want to keep these in the boxes. Uh, if we flip this over in the back, we get um, a picture of, you know, Raphael in the back there with, with some of his weapons. So it looks like his weapons are actually glossy too, just looking at um, the uh, picture itself. So they're almost like the chrome paint over to make them look like metal, which is awesome. Um, you have Calabunga, Turtle Power, Bulkies again, Designer. Uh, these were imported uh, from Hong Kong, so that's something neat, uh, you know, and different um, for the turtle line. Uh, 32 centimeters, and same thing on this side, we get the M, so for the TMNT. All right, so let's unbox Raphael. Okay, now that Raphael is freed from the box here, we can have a look at uh, what Raph comes with. We get some sheaths here that will connect to the back, which we'll show later on. We also get his signature size. Now these, again, are really cool, just like Leonardo's uh, katanas. We get kind of the chrome paint on there uh, to make them look like real metal. So that's really awesome. Uh, we get the um, red tape on the handle and then also, you know, the brown for the wood there. So let's set these off to the side and have a look at the figure itself. And of course, if we start up top, we can see that Raph's bandana is kind of cut up there, you know, and that makes it look look um, even meaner. So that's an awesome thing there, as we know, Raph's kind of the, you know, the one that has, um, you know, the temper problems and whatnot. So that kind of gives him a little meaner look, which is really neat. Uh, we also get a lighter green and then some darker shading in there. Uh, we get, again, the, um, you know, pouches uh, that come connected to the belts, the R for Raphael on the belt buckle, the cool plastron uh, with just kind of some different um, colors there. Um, like I said, these are vinyl figures, so the majority of this figure is vinyl. The belt is vinyl, and it's just uh, sculpted right onto the plastron there um, and wraps around. Uh, the wraps, we get some different coloring um, on the wraps, kind of some darker red and then some lighter red. Same with the knee pads, down to wraps. You get kind of like a lighter brown. Um, and then it kind of looks like maybe, you know, for the shadows on the inner part of the foot. Um, so if we turn this guy around, you can see uh, some more different, you know, shading on his arms. And I love the shells on these guys. The shells are really cool. They kind of go up over top of the head. Uh, and again, as I mentioned previously, uh, this hole right here is in all the figures because they all have the same uh, basic. Uh, molds, but this one obviously doesn't need for the sheath up there. It doesn't need that little uh, peg hole. So the peg holds in there for Leonardo for his sheath, but Raphael's sheaths go down here. So we turn them over on the side, same kind of thing, and we'll just move through the articulation. Now these figures are big, and again they aren't known for um, you know a lot of articulation to begin with, but uh, you know they're mainly just display pieces, um, which they look awesome as that. Uh, so let's just check it out though. They do, they do have some movement um, in the head, neck area. So it's always tight. 
if I can get it. There we go. Not snap anything, but it is tight, but we get some movement there in the neck. Um, back and forth movement in the shoulders, uh, some wrist movement, and some movement in the elbow. So we get that going on. Um, again, like I said, these things move around as well. And if we move down to the legs, we get some movement in the hips and in the ankles. So the ankles move around there to kind of allow for some uh, more sturdier poses there. So if you want to kind of get him standing more uh, sturdy. So if we turn him around, then we can have a look at where the sheets go in. So we'll just kind of connect these to the back and again, peg and then there's a hole there. And if we just snap that in, one, we'll connect this part again on the back, the sheath, connect that over there. Um, I did want to point out, I don't really know, I guess these must have just been in there from the um, factory. Um, I'll be curious to see if anybody else mentions these being in the sheaths, but um, these kind of, they're just a hard, I don't even know what they are. If I think they're just pieces of vinyl as well. Um, they might just be for the molds. They must actually, they must sound like rocks. I don't know, I don't know what they are. But anyway, they were in the sheaths and uh, they were blocking, um, you know, the, the entry for the size. So, I don't know, we'll set those aside. Now we don't have to look silly and think that they actually go like that where it was, you know, these things were down in there. So you can probably stick them either way now, but they go down a lot further now. So you can actually do that or the classic way, which I think looks a lot cooler, sticking them down like that. So both of them fit in there nicely. And there's kind of a side view, looks really neat. Um, so yeah, so those fit in there good. And if we just turn Raf around, so there's Raf with his size. And um, also this comes with, again, the piece for splinter and we get the bottom part of splinter. So this will be the last part uh, for splinter. So uh, the directions actually show us to use the, um, turn it the right way, actually to use a hair dryer um, in order to soften up uh, the vinyl and they'll be able to, um, you know, get everything. Uh, together. So right there uh, is the instructions for that. So I'm going to go do that and then I'll be back and I'll show you what Splinter looks like uh, fully put together and we'll have a look at it. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, uh, we have Build a Splinter. He's all put together finally after a long wait. Um, we finally have Splinter put together. Now he's a lot smaller than, um, than the bulky turtles. Uh, so I'm going to bring a turtle in here in a little bit, but let's have a look at this figure now that he's put together. Um, so all the pieces, of course, snapped in nicely after I used the hair dryer. And so the pieces that we put together, of course, is where the movement is. So we got some movement in um, the shoulders, um, in the neck area there that I showed, um, in the waist. And now there's no movement in the legs. Those are just simply sculpted onto um, the bottom there. Now the tail obviously kind of moves around because that was one of the parts that came too. So we just turn him around on the back, get some cool uh, shading on his um, upper back area and on his kimono, I guess we would say. Um, and then we also get some on the shoulders and down through the arms. Um, the face looks really neat. I love that figure. I love that he actually has white eyes too. It just gives Splinter kind of, it goes with, along with his line. You know, they're kind of that darker looking, um, you know, turtle uh, line. So we get the cool symbols there too, up here on each side. And he comes, of course, with his uh, walking stick or cane. Um, so, really neat. I mean, like I said, I was really excited to finally get that. That was one of the main selling points for me for the Balkies uh, line in general, was to get this splinter. So there he is, he's really neat. And we'll bring in a turtle now and see the uh, height difference. So we can see there is quite a big height difference in the uh, turtles compared to the uh, build a splinter, um, but it still looks cool together. Like it doesn't look so little that it, um, you know, makes it look silly. I think it's kind of neat how they, um, you know, made it this size, uh, made Splinter smaller. Um, you know, obviously not really lifelike, but um, it's still just a cool little piece to go along with the Balky's line. I don't know if we're gonna get any other figures, but to go along with, you know, the four turtles, you need Master Splinter. So if we just slide him back, you can kind of get a, a better view. He really doesn't, you know, I don't even know, does he go up to about maybe, maybe the waist area, let's say, of uh, Raphael. So um, it's pretty uh, small, as we said, and um, that pretty much wraps up all the Balkies lines. Unless we get a shredder or something down uh, the road, this, these were the four Balkies. Um, I reviewed all four of them, so if you wanna see any other ones, please check back 
um, in my older videos. And again, there's uh, the build a splinter that we've been waiting for. Um, so thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more TMNT reviews.